What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. In today's video, man, we're gonna be giving y'all the top five things I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, man. And y'all know Germ. If y'all know me, man, I don't really hate my my Challenger, man. But even on RT, this one fuck up my baby. But it is a couple of things that I don't like about it, and that's what we're gonna be explaining in this video, man. So make sure y'all boys stick to the end. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe because this is about to be a cool little vid on the top five things I hit about my channel. You RT, man. So let's get into this vid. All right, tall. And this is a 2016 Dodge Challenger RT Plus. If y'all do not know, if y'all brand new and stuff like that, uh, and it's stock, ain't nothing really done to it for real. For real. It's just cosmetic mods, as y'all can see. But um, without further ado, let's get y'all into the first thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, man. So the first thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, y'all, would be the Challenger stock suspension. If I do not know, um, y'all see how much of a my gap this is, bro. This is a lot of space, and you know what I'm saying. That's like a whole fist, bro. That's a lot of space, and it make it don't it don't make it look as good as I want it to look. So, pretty much, that'd be like my first con I say. As all I can see, like, let me show y'all the other side too. If y'all look at this side, that's how much of a gap it got. And then this is the back. The back don't got, it don't look like it's that much of a gap because I got some real big uh, tires. I got two seventy fives in the back right now. But um, that'll be the first thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, man. And let's go to number two. Second thing I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, y'all, would it be in it having the 262 rear diff, but it not being a 262 LSD, y'all. So if y'all do not know, Challenger RTs come with a, a 262, but not the LSD. And I do not like that about mine, unfortunately, because I got one wheel pill. So I'm unfortunately having one wheel spin instead of two, y'all. So, hold on, let me move up, bro. All right, y'all, we back. Uh, I got interrupted by a goddamn mail truck and shit like that. But um, I was telling y'all about the second thing I hate about my uh, car, and it was the 262 being an open diff instead of the LSD. So, like I was saying, I got the one wheel pill instead of two, so it would make it a little harder for me to break my Challenger RT loose when I'm trying to like slide it and shit like that. But other than that, I'll stay, I'll say like it's still a good car and shit like that. But that's like one of my ifs about it because if y'all know Scats and Cats got the two wheel pill, not two wheel pill, but they got both wheels spinning. And RT's got one, so it get one uh, side power and the other one pretty much like disabled, if that makes sense. Well, it got less power, so yeah, that'll pe pretty much be my second dislike, and we gonna go on to the third. Third thing that I do not like about my Dodge Challenger or another dislike would be it having a lot of battery problems, y'all. If I do not know, bruh, for whatever reason, Mopars have a lot of electrical problems with the battery and shit like that. I don't know why, bruh, but... They real sensitive when it comes to the battery, uh, when it comes to the battery storage and shit like that and all that. So, um, I don't have to jump this car so many times, bro, and the shit didn't make no sense with a brand new battery and all that. But that would pretty much be like the third one, you are The battery functions and like it being dead a lot, the battery down a lot. I don't know if it's probably just mine myself, but from what I from what I have from my experience, shit, y'all, this motherfucker had died on me a lot of times and. You know what I'm saying? I really wouldn't fuck with it and shit. So that'd be the third, and we're gonna go on to the fourth. The fourth thing that I hate about my Dodge Challenger RT, y'all, would be the stock brake sizing, y'all. So if y'all can't tell, the stock brakes and shit for Charlie's is real small and shit. They pretty much the same brakes that they throw on SXTs and GTs. So they throwing us in the base model trims and shit like that. And we got a V8 trim or well, a V8 uh engine and shit like that. And we don't got no V6 like them, so. That's pretty much like a dislike because y'all see they real small and these don't really, these don't really stop my challenge and shit all like that because this is a heavy car and this motherfucker faster than what motherfuckers think it is. But that'll pretty much be like the fourth, y'all. The brakes, they ain't the best, but they could have upgraded them and shit, but um, it's cool. You, just, you know what I'm saying? You just got to work with it and shit. So that'd be the fourth and then we're going to go on to the last one, which is the fifth. All right, y'all, and this last one got to do with the interior, y'all. So, if y'all do not know, um, I got mine's taste, so that's uh, how I got the SRT pages on mine's. Uh, if y'all don't know, I got custom sport mode track, and I got eco mode. 
they don't really come with this and stuff like this, y'all. They just come with the, uh, the sport mode switch and they come with a default switch. And it was really plain and stuff like that. So what I went on here and I did, I got, I got it tased. That way I got the SRT modes in it. All right, so, so man, Amazon keep following me. <laughs> they keep following me and shit, y'all. I done moved. But uh, we back again for the third time. But like I was saying, y'all, uh, I do not like how they don't got the SRT pages and shit like that. So, like I was saying, they don't come with um, SRT mode. Um, they don't come with the SRT modes. They don't come with the performance pages and shit like that. And like I was saying, y'all, it's real plain without it, y'all. I'm not going to lie. When they come with, when they have track mode and sport mode and custom and shit like that, y'all, they really open up the Challenger RTs and, you know, the 345s, the Hemis, the 57s, whatever you want to call it. They really open it up way more than what it's... Uh, it is stock wise y'all so that'll be the fifth one and we're gonna end this video off here but i'm gonna give y'all a, a, a little warm start to end the video man all right y'all we're about to end it off here but like i said let me give y'all a warm start so i can hear what my baby sound like <laughs> give y'all another walk around man